That Sunday here is pretty quiet and fair. I mean, if I was at, uh, at Trinity Beach, uh, I would have been passing by uh, quite a few groups of uh, people uh, walking their dogs or family groups or whatever. But here, that's, this is the first person I've actually seen down the beach. I didn't see anyone in the pathway, and um, it's just this guy walking up and down. It's amazing. I have a place to myself. Extraordinary, isn't it? We need that many places in the world where you could sort of live five minutes or so from from a beach like this that uh, basically is not being used. Amazing. I mean, even the uh, was it the three mile beach? I can't remember. Is it five mile beach or three mile beach up at um, Port Douglas? That uh, that's busier than this. Everything's busier than this. This is unbelievable. This is quite. Uh, yeah, I knew it was a laid-back place. But I thought there'd be a bit more action on a Sunday. Yeah, I'm not complaining, mind you. It's, it's, uh, it's nice. It's nice to just have a place you could sort of go along with relax, not be hassled by people. I wonder if anybody's swimming. I can't really see from here, but uh, they might be. Oh, yeah, it's just nice to... You had to wander along the, uh, the foreshore. There's some people down there, down near where the uh, where the netted area is. There's a few people, but uh, yeah, this would be one of the quietest beaches in Cairns, I would think. Got a few dog prints around. A few people have been walking through, but maybe it's a quiet time of the afternoon. Yeah, it's quite. Uh, compacted the, the sand here so it's easy to walk on so I'll both be basically you know, there are a few people swimming I've got to take the plunge one of these days it's only going to get colder unfortunately that's the, uh, the problem it will pick up again in July August but uh, it's uh, going to just get cooler every day I'd say from now on I don't know people coming here you can see in the car park there's a few cars so yeah there's a few people there's a noisy family group there, so and I did see a couple of people walk down the down the path, so not totally deserted, but gee, pretty quiet generally. But, uh, yeah, that land would be worth a bit. Pretty overgrown. Well, that's prime that's prime real estate. Although I suppose it'd be a bit noisy because you're going to be if, if, on the weekends you're going to get the family groups here, so maybe not the best place to be at the beach if you're going to have a house right on it. But uh, yeah, most of these places are pretty good because you've got all the uh, play equipment for the kids, so you're going to get them all down here and the barbecues. But. Uh, Willow Garden. Huh. Yep, I'm going to be uh, doing some work on my garden too. Now it would be nice to be uh, one of these places you actually hear the sea at night. And, yeah, that'd be something special. But, uh, yeah, it's a great pathway, really big. If I had an electric uh, scooter that worked, it would be good. Unfortunately, my electric scooter is RIP. Yeah, someone's got one of those hot water solar systems up there. They're probably That's probably a very good spot for it. A easterly. I actually would have put it the opposite way, to, but um, on the west. But maybe there's something there as well. But it's facing east that one. Uh, yeah, some pretty amazing places. I think it's a very nice beach. This. Well, there's a couple of people walking down. Here. Just very quiet. Yeah, I need to get out today. I hadn't been out all day, so I feel a bit buggered. But uh, 
it is good to uh, stretch the legs for a short time and there's the, the major renovators opportunity there yeah, put a few new plants in here so it's been looked after so what I've got to do in my garden get all that mulch stuff and uh, start planting That's what I'll be doing next yeah. oh, maybe just sit behind and get a few bit of a sea breeze the hell look at the phantom boat that's actually a rock won't get fooled again on that one oh, I'm in the back in the big smoke the big noisy smoke as usual and uh, just got to drop off the keys to the agency and then I've got to um, pick up some oh god it is noisy in the city I'm glad I'm in the burps uh, yeah I've got to pick up uh, a parcel uh, from Aussie Post and um, the shock of the day was I have to pay for my um, my bus ticket also got a, a phone call from Adam he's ready to have a check out my house so that's good because I really want to get started on uh, renovations so that's that's good that he's finally available and uh, but first off I've got to go down to uh, just get this stuff sorted in the city and then uh, I've got to go all the way to Stocklands because I've got to buy that bloody adapter for the uh, Foxtel and I've got to be back by 2 o'clock because I told uh, Adam I'd be it would take me a few hours I think I'll give myself enough time I'll just text him if I'm running late but it just puts more pressure on me jeez I'm sick of having pressure on me at the moment it's all the time but I uh, also want to pick up a, a, a cheap bottle of gin and believe it or not there's no there's no um, liquor land at Stockland that's incredible I mean there's two liquor land there's a liquor land at, at um, Trinity Beach one at Kawara Beach which you know you wouldn't have thought they'd actually have it especially Kawara but uh, there's none at Stocklands which is a gigantic shopping centre weird but then again it's the same company that seems to basically turn their back on beef eater gin I'm going to have to get it from uh, Murphy's in the future I think uh, I might buy it at uh, at first choice here it still cost me a little bit more I can buy it online for about 39 bucks at Murphy's but uh, otherwise I'd have to uh, to pay their higher price $52 so, not good God, the traffic here is horrendous I can't believe how many cars are up Hands is definitely getting busier you notice it even more when you're out in the burbs because it's really quiet. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to um, really uh, find it tough coming back to the city from now on. I think it's uh, that peaceful uh, suburban existence is going to grow on me. I think. But anyway. Uh, yeah, I've got a fair bit of travel because I also want to, after I go to Stocklands, to just pick up that adapter and do some supermarket shopping. My last stop is to Spotlight. I need to buy some curtains. And they have eyelet curtains. They're all bloody made in China, which pisses me off. I'd rather buy something made elsewhere. But uh, it seems every curtain in their stock is Chinese, from what I can gather. So that pisses me off. Not a big fan of the Chinese regime, to be honest with you. And uh, I would like to avoid buying Chinese goods if possible. I mean, I don't even know what conditions they're made under. Probably sweatshops. So we found Darcy's um, agency. There it is. There. Uh, it's it's off the side of the of Sheridan Road. So, uh, but anyway, I got that done. I'll drop off the keys. The first task is done. I'll go and, go and collect my mail and after that I'll um, uh, yeah I'll get the uh, I'll see if I can get some cheap gin because it's always a high priority for me of course uh, but uh, 
yeah, like I said, I want to get things sorted. I do want to have a chat with Adam at my place and go over what needs to be done. Sounds like he might be able to do a bit of the uh, the lights work, which would be great, the electrics work, because that's really important to get that done. So, uh, yeah, we'll just see how it all pans out. Oh, God. I actually, even though I've got a lot on my plate, I don't feel anywhere near as stressed as before. Um, I, I'll just see how it goes. I've got a fair bit of stuff to get under, get done, and uh, hopefully it all won't run out of time. But uh, yeah, I really want to get that adapter. But uh, again, that doesn't have to be done today. The only thing is that Dick Smith's the only one that sells it really cheaply. So, and there, there's only one Dick Smith up here, and that's anyway, in. Uh, sorry. In Stockland, mind you, there's no. Who says they've got they've got this thing in stock? It may not. They may not have any. So in which case, I have to go have to go to uh, to Bunnings. I don't know. Could just go to Bunnings. We'll pay about three times as much with the same thing. But there's no guarantee that Bunnings is necessarily going to have stuff in stock either. I mean, you know, these places these days, they don't. They don't necessarily have all the gear. Yeah, this is uh, not a great day for shopping, I've got to say. The weather has been disgusting. Windy, wet. The only thing it doesn't have is the cold of Melbourne, but it's similar to Melbourne weather. It's pretty bad, actually. And I just uh, missed the bus because I got lost inside there. I always get lost in these places. I can never find my way around. There's no sign. You don't have to ask people where the, the bus stop is. I walk the opposite side and it looks the same, except it hasn't got the, uh, the sign up there for departures. So, oh dear. Well, at least I got the, uh, the, the adapter plug I was looking for. It costs more than it. Bunnings about 60, 60 cents more, pretty much the same price range. Uh, so I've got that. Looks as though there's some finally there's a clear sky going. Uh, I had to SMS Adam to say come make it my place at three o'clock rather than two. There's no way I'm going to make it back by two. Yeah, it's just crazy. So I've still got to go to Spotlight and try to find the, the, the blind, find some curtains. So it's going to be pretty bad. But yeah, it's not a great day here in Cairns, I've got to say. Pretty ordinary. Yeah, I just got back. I just got outside as the, the bus was departing that I wanted. So it's one of those days, I think. It's just uh, not working out particularly well right now. I'll be relieved when I get back to the beaches, to be honest with you. But Adam couldn't have called me on a worse day. I'm just, I'm just as the busiest shopping day I've had. And I've gone the furthest. I mean, this is, I've never, don't usually go this far away from the city to shop, but I, it seemed like a good idea at the time. Uh, well, I've got, at least we've got the supermarket. I've only got to do the curtains now, and that's it. So hopefully um, this bus will turn up when it says it's going to, and I'll, uh, I'll be at Spotlight fairly soon. I wouldn't have wanted to walk over there. It would, would have been disgusting. Just very showery. Actually, hopefully it's calming down a bit now. Been terrible weather. Well, maybe crap weather, but it does look spectacular. I'll give you that. And uh, I got through Spotlight pretty quickly, actually. It went well. So no great dramas at all there. That was very good. And uh, I only got one blind because it'd be too heavy to carry the other one. So I'll have to get that locally. But uh, yeah, look at those clouds there. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Pedestrian crossing, one of those rarities up here. It's good. See that? Very spectacular looking down towards the west. And uh, so my time's not too bad now. I thought I might have had a problem there. I just got to get a bus back to Central and then the last bus. And to be quite frank, I'll be very happy to see the end of this day. <laughs> I want to see some sunshine again. The bus stop's quite a distance actually from Stockwell. Apparently there's some AFL games going to be played at Kazali Stadium just here. Or well, they may have already been played. Now I've got my uh, 
converter, I might actually be able to watch a bit of broadcast TV. So we'll see. But uh, yeah, well, I'm going to be having a few days like this. Still got to pick up the motor mower. The other reason of getting Adam around is he can also help me sh shuttle stuff from uh, the local Bunnings to my place. In other words, all the if he's got to go and pick up supplies, I'll come with him and I'll do my shopping as well. Because being a tradie, he'll probably have a, a hulking four-wheel drive. I think he's got a, I think he's got about three vehicles, so uh, that'll work out well. Anyway, I'll probably once I get to the main bus station, I'll uh, I'll email him again with another update about. Oh, jeez, don't tell me I'm going to miss another bus. I couldn't hang on it. Oh, probably I'm having a bad run. I mean, I, I saw the bus pull out the one I, before the one I caught. So, yeah, I'm not having much luck. Oh, no, I'll be okay. There's someone at the bus stop too, so that's good. Please uh, consider subscribing to my channel if you think there's anything there of, uh, of use to you or entertainment or whatever. And uh, either give do that or give me a thumbs up or, or if you're feeling really energetic, do both. That'd be great.